Welcome to our first installment of In The Garage where we're gonna take a look at the headlight I installed on my YZ250. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to keep up to date with our future content and leave your comments below. So this is the light bar we're going with. It's a six inch spot LED light bar. Got it off of eBay for extremely cheap. I think it was about 17, 18 dollars shipped. And uh, we're gonna run that off of a battery because upgrading the stator in a bike that didn't come factory with a stator that could run a light is very expensive. And I'm cheap. I ordered some batteries from eBay as well, some 12 volts, just some Chinese batteries. I think they were for uh, closed circuit TVs, cameras, I don't know. Uh, anyways, those worked okay for a couple rides, but uh, after that point, they just wouldn't take a charge anymore and whoosh, garbage. So that was kind of a waste of money. So I was thinking, I need a good battery, but I don't want to pay big money for it either because good batteries cost a lot of money. And the ones we decided to use cost a lot of money too, but I had them already in my garage and I bet you've got some just like it. So you're probably thinking, where do you put a battery like that on a bike like this? Well, there's really only one spot, and that's in here. Check it out. Now you got yourself a sweet little setup with some batteries you already own, an $18 ship to your door, headlight, some low voltage wiring, a couple simple plugs. I'm not even running a switch right now, just, you know, don't even need it really. Just another thing to go wrong. And then I've got this Makita. I mean, you could use whatever you got, DeWalt, Ryobi. You'd have to find yourself a drill to hack and slash the base plate off. Don't do it to your good one. Now, cut that off. You got two wires coming out, positive, negative. Super simple. Splice into them. Run your low voltage wire to the headlight. Pop your battery on. All you gotta worry about is where you mount this underneath your seat. Now the perfect spot for me was just so that I can get it past this back subframe bar but still get the seat hooked up on the front subframe. And then once she's down in there, the seat slides forward and the battery literally just barely rests on the air filter. So you're not squishing your air filter down. It works really awesome. Just like that guys, you've got yourself 18 volts powering a headlamp that is super bright, awesome on the trail, wicked for night rides, and you got yourself wicked batteries and the perfect charger already go right from your drill setup. Now I recommend maybe finding a broken drill set on Kijiji and uh, rather than cutting your drill all the hell. So, there you go, easy peasy, super bright light. I can take the battery off mid ride, bring another one in my pack. If it dies, I mean, this has ran me for, I've left it on in the garage for five hours straight and I just decided to go turn it off because well, I don't think I'll ever be riding that long in the dark. So good to go. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Next time, I think we'll take a look at my Carb guard, keeping the snow off your carb in the winter.